Hey everybody, Dave Williamson, Portland, Oregon, the Toy Car Collector. Thanks for joining me on this video today. First, let me give a shout out to Matt Smith from Australia. Here's a funny story. Matt Smith went to the Redline, the Redline Convention. What do they call it? They call it, uh, I'm not sure what they call it. Redline Jackpot, that's what it is, in Las Vegas. He flew over from Australia to go to Las Vegas to see the Redline Jackpot. The red light jackpot. But he also went there to see the Grand Canyon. He took a helicopter down to the bottom of the Grand Canyon, went on a boat trip in the Grand Canyon, and then for some reason he was flying out of Portland, Oregon. Well anyway, he he while he was here he had some he had some layover time, I guess, and uh, he looked around to see if there was any collectible stores close by they could go to, and he discovered Dr. Tongue's You Had That Shop, which is on 72nd of Fremont in Portland, Oregon. It's a store that has all kinds of toys. Not really many Hot Wheels, but all kinds of toys. Like anything from the 60s, 70s, you name it. He's got it. You know, he's got he's got all kinds of stuff. Hopefully I don't run over this lady. He's got all kinds of box toys. The walls are just covered with it. You gotta check it out. Anyway, anyway, I right next door to Dr. Tongue's so you had that shop on 72nd Fremont, giving him a shout out, is the Papa Murphy store. And so I went to the post office and then I drug my heels a little bit to get to Papa Murphy's to pick up my pizza, which is right next to the toy store. And I get out of my car, finally I went around the block, I get out of my car, park in front of the pizza shop, long, uh, short story long, I guess. Anyway, there's this guy standing in front of the, the toy store with a blue box in his hand and I noticed, you know, that's obviously a, like a Corgi box or a Matchbox box or a Hot Wheels box. And uh, and then he went in the store, so I went ahead and followed him in because I always stop and talk to the proprietor of the store. And um, there he was, Matt Smith from Australia. And he was like, hey, you're Dave Williamson, the toy car collector. I'm like, yeah. And so we took a picture together, and that was really fun. I, I, I get a real kick out of that. That was cool. Anyway, let's get, to today, let's get to today's video. Today's video is a video of a box of cars that I bought. You know, I'm making this while I'm trying to make a left turn at a busy intersection. That's just nuts. I gotta pull up a little bit farther. Uh huh. Whoa, 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 whoa. And this guy's going fast. That guy's going slow. All right. So, so today's video is kind of weird. It's a box of miscellaneous toys that I picked up. When I went to a train show, and it wasn't really a train show, it was an open house at a train club, the largest one in Portland, Oregon, which is fantastic. And every Christmas they open it up uh, for you to pay money and go in and see their layout. It was so cool. But then when you get all done and you're out in their, their re recreation area, they have things for sale. And one of the things they had was this box of toys. Let's get it open right now. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to smash the like button and hit the uh, subscribe. And I really appreciate it by watching. So here we go. All right, here we go. Check it out. Now, this is the first thing I saw was this case sitting on a table, and I was very intrigued. I thought the case was super cool with a race car on the front. 1987 Barocco Enterprises, Greenwich, Connecticut. Hmm, interesting. Never seen this case before in my life. And what made it even more exciting was this. Hot Wheels set, $35. Oh my gosh, could it be Hot Wheels? Wow, $35 for everything? That's crazy. So I bought it, but I looked at it first, of course. Now let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay. Oh, interesting. Wait a minute. I don't see any Hot Wheels. I see Tomika. And I see these nice trays. That one's broken. Oh, what is that cannonball run? That's Ertl. Holy smokes, more Tamikas, you gotta be kidding me, Wow, we! And then there's, what's in here? There's some of uh, those Chinese cars that you get in the uh, dollar store in there. Yeah, let's take all these out, nothing else in there. Oh, all right, pretty nice shape on the case. All right, I'll probably use that as one of my cases I take back and forth to the convention with trays in it. Now let's see what we've got. Let's get the camera set up. Alrighty, let's see what we've got. Now, Tamikas generally are worth about $10 to $20 a piece, depending on the model. Like this Volkswagen, that's a good one with the doors that open. What is that? F5 Volkswagen Golf. 
That's a good looking car. I think I'll probably put this one on uh, one of my transporters on display. I really like this one, 156 scale. All the Tamikas actually have the scale indicated on the bottom. Now for HO train sets, you would need uh, 187th scale and 164th scale is supposed to be the Hot Wheels scale. But the Tamikas, they vary in scale. So we got a Volkswagen there. Uh, this, is, this is a popular one here. The, the, the Cadillac Seville, right? Cadillac Seville. One, what is the scale on this one? One sixty ninth scale. It's funny how they put the scale on everything. But look at that. Isn't that a beauty? Doors open and everything. American car. There you go. Here's the German Mercedes. Let me guess. 450 SEL. Uh, let's see. Mercedes Benz 450 SEL. 167th scale. Doors open. That nice. That's a nice one. Put that over here. Ah, German car. It's up here. German. I think most of them have opening doors. Hard to get them out. Let's see. Here's a BMW. They seem to be all in new shape, which is great. 162nd scale. <clears throat> a BMW 320i. I, I, I. Yeah, nice. I love Tomikas. I got like, well, I had like 400 of them recently. I've sold a bunch. This is a Maserati Merrick. Merak SS. Yeah, that's a nice one. Wow. Ooh, I just had to turn the computer, <laughs> the phone off to sneeze. Oh my goodness. I've been sneezing a lot today. Oh, this one's got a little goober on it. But this is a Lamborghini Countach, I believe. Lamborghini Countach LP5005. That's cool. What opens on that? I think the back opens. All right, there's another race car. The Schwinden, Schwinden 77 BMWs. Mm -hmm. Yes, Schwinden, 162nd scale. I don't think anything opens on this one. Neat though, neat. Do check out my uh, Tamikas I have for sale on my website. Well, this one's nice, Pantera, there's a little dirty on this one, a little dust. But nice looking Tomas, Di Tomasa Pantera. That is beautiful. All right. I think I'm had too much coffee this morning. My hands are jiggling. Got a Lancia. What opens? Anything open? No, no opening. Mm -mm. Lancia. What does that say? Something about Strato Turbo. Good looking. Look at that. That is cool. Look at that. Look at that. All right. And we got a Honda Rally. Honda Rally. Doors opening. Gold wheels. On the rally. The scales are all about the same. This one is uh, 167th scale. Neat though, right? That is neat. Honda. Japanese. Here we go. And we've got a... Oh, look at this. 200SX. Oh, man. I wanted one of these back in the day. What year is this? Nissan Silva. 200SX. Cool. That is cool. Japanese right there okay oh and my favorite one of my favorite Tamikas of all time look at that 280z or is it a 260 Nissan Fairlady 280z with t-tops perfect color too look at that look at that I believe though wasn't the actual one silver and with blue on top I don't remember I always wanted one of those but man were they expensive all right, here's the rest of the Tamikas. We got a Volkswagen convertible. Beautiful. I love that. That is so cute. I know when I was uh, saving the ones I uh, want to not sell, that Volkswagen bug always comes up in that category. Oh, German car. And the Volkswagen bug. Look at that. With the orange top. Very nice. It's a variety of wheels on these things too, aren't there? I don't know. You know, although I have a lot of... Tomikas, I don't know a lot about them. I just like them. They're just really cool. And I got a lot of them for sale, so do check out my website, toycarcollector.com. Click on Tomika for all the selections. We can put together a nice big collection of Tomika for you. And that is a Fiat. So that's a Italian, right? Is that Italian? Yeah, I think so. All right, now there's Z Toys in here. Zomix. Some are marked... Zomex, Zymex, Zylmex, and uh, from Hong Kong, look at that, Volkswagen bug, 
very nice. And um, some are marked just Z Toy, but I believe they're the same company, right? They just they changed the name slightly. This one's kind of goofy. I don't know if it's missing window glass or anything. It might just be like that. I got it says Zalmex on it, Porsche 935. It's very cheaply made. Little thing. All right, there it is. We got a Corvette. Corvette, pretty cool. That might be a good one. I don't know. These just say Z on them. Z. I think it's the same company though. If you have any information about that, let me know below in the comments. Porsche 928, kind of cool. Z. A variety of construction methods on these. We got a got a Mazda RX-7 with opening doors. <clears throat> there it is. And we got a Lincoln Continental opening doors. Cool. Corvette. This one's really cheaply made. Look at that plastic base and everything. Corvette, man. Corvette. All right. <clears throat> Here we've got a Ferrari. Ferrari. What model? Ferrari. 365 GT. No, that's not. Yep, that's what it says. Kind of odd looking. Oh, Berlinetta Boxer. Okay. He likes to box Berlinettas. All right. And then, wait a minute. There's another 928. There's two of the same. What do you know? All right. What else we got in there? Well, we've got a couple of Kenner Fast Ones. I used to call them Fast 111s, but they're just Fast Ones. they got the license plate on the back. This one's a Mustang Fox Body, I believe. Made in Macau. Kenner Products. They were pretty cool back in the day. Came in a big, giant blister card. Pretty neat. That one's pretty neat, actually. I'm going to put that up there. One of the neat ones. All right, we've got another one. Fast ones on the Firebird Turbo. Wow. Wow, look at that. you got your license plate on the back. What's it say? I can't read it. It's so small. Good looking. Holy smokes. Kenner products. Is it also made in Macau? No, this one says Hong Kong. Interesting. Interesting. Made in Macau. Made in Hong Kong. I wonder what, what does that mean? Somebody explain that to me. Leave comments below. Now, we have some Ertles. Ertles. We've got a Mercedes Ertle. An opening hood, I think. Yep, there it is. Engine. Look at that, how that nice grill goes on the front. Look at they took an extra effort there to put this grill piece onto the opening hood. Pretty cool. Ertle 350 SL, made in Hong Kong. Made in Hong, the Hong Kong. All right. I like this one. Is that a uh, C111? There it is, C111. That's cool. Opening back. That's not bad. A little squattier than a Hot Wheels C111 from 1972 or 73. All right, pretty cool. Let's scoot you over. I'm going to put you up here. I like that one. We got a Cannonball Run Porsche. A Cannonball Run Porsche. I had one of these back in the days when they were new. Got the sticker still on there. That's good. Cannonball Run Porsche 930 from Earl. Nice. And, oh, look at this one. The old-fashioned car. What is that, a Ford? Oh, it's a Mercury. 50 Merc. Ertl 50 Merc. I'm sure I had all these back when they were new. It just wasn't... Back when these were being made, there wasn't that many Hot Wheels, really. Not like today. Look at this. Oh, they've done it again. They've put the piece on the hood. That is so cool. Kind of oversized there. That emblem's, man, gigantic. Probably couldn't see over it. If you were driving this 450 SE Mercedes... But nice, nice find. Check it out. This is a nice find. Always looking for something, you know. Oh, diamond headlights. I love the diamond headlights. That's a Nurtle as well. Hmm. I wasn't even aware that a Nurtle would have diamond headlights. That's more of a feature of the, uh, what are those? MP Roadmasters. Yeah, sparkle. Oh, how they sparkle. And I love these blue trays. These are nice and sturdy. Except one of them's broken. Now the only thing left in this collection is a bunch of giant, bunch of China junk. Ice cream truck. It's kind of goofy. Goofy. And here's a 57 bird. 56 bird. Oh, okay. 57, 6 T bird with opening doors, I do believe. Look at that. Kind of neat. This one has no real name on it, but it does have this roundy thing. That one doesn't. That one's different. I think all of the ones that have that little round deal on there, I wonder what that means. But no name, 57 Chevy. 
gold on there. Here's a Porsche race car. Same, got that little thing on there, made in Hong Kong, 935 Turbo. I don't know, I don't know. And let's see, this one's got it, there it is. Road Ford Roadster, kind of funny, got a little, look at that. Uh, I don't know, are these dime store cars? What are they? What are they? I don't know. If you know, let me know. This one also has that little bar on it, but it's a plastic base, Lamborghini Countach. I hope I'm saying that right. There's a Mercedes. This, I got that little bar on there, but this is a metal base. Mercedes, a couple more. Got this guy here. Now these actually have a name on it, Universal Products, made in Hong Kong. These are really cheaply made. But it looks cool, right? That looks cool. And, and this one, look at that. They, I don't know, what is that, side pipes that they got pictured on there? That's goofy, with flames coming out. This one, uh, is that the same wheels? No? Oh, wow, you know, this has got like a five spoke, like a hot wheel. That's pretty cool, except they're real small. This one just got some sort of, look. almost looks like a matchbox wheel. And the last car in the lot is, I don't, oh, it's another one of these. So there are two of these with this fun little five spokes on it. They, uh, you know, actually, as I look at them in the screen here, they look pretty cool. Now it's got kind of a motor stuck in there. Or uh, for cheapy toys, they're kind of cool. I don't know how long they'd last if you played with them, but they look kind of neat. All right, that's all for this collection. Thanks for joining me. This is Dave Williamson, the Toy Car Collector. And uh, if you like Tamikas in particular, come to my website and check out all the ones I have for sale. i got a ton of them for sale. I've got a ton more. And uh, they're all priced to move. And thanks for joining me today, and we will see you on the next video. Bye now.